managerial accounting. We're going to talk about cost concepts and cost allocation today. In other words, we're going to look at how we can categorize costs. Now, costs can be um, put in categories uh, such as people can, how tall they are, how much they weigh, what color their eyes are, whether they're males or females. All of these are categories. So now we're going to look at costs and do the same thing. So the first category we're going to look at for cost is whether that cost for financial reporting purposes is a product cost or a period cost. A product cost means it's directly related to the production of a product or service. In other words, it goes into making that product or service. So thus it's a product cost. Product costs show up in our financial statements, and specifically our income statement, in cost of goods sold. If we were dealing with services, it shows up in cost of services. Period costs, though, you know as expenses or operating expenses. They pertain more to the passage of time and are generally related to selling administrative or general functions. So period costs, SAG, selling administrative or general, product costs, cost of goods sold or cost of sales. Now when we look at product costs, we can then also say, are those costs traceable directly to the product or indirectly to the product? Costs that are traceable to the product directly are known as direct materials and direct later, labor. In other words, these are the materials and labor that I can say causally that that um, piece of wood went into that furniture item or that laborer or worker works specifically on producing that product. So know that it's, it's traceable or there's a cause and effect relationship. That's direct cost. But there's a lot of costs that go into products or the provision of services that you cannot directly trace to it, but are essential in the production of those services or those products. And these are called indirect costs. We also call this overhead. And overhead means it's things like, well, electricity, um, depreciation on the machinery, the supervisor who comes around and tells the, the workers what to do. All of these are essential in the production process. It's just, we can't say it's causally to a specific product or a particular service. So that's why it's called indirect. The second way we can categorize costs is by their behavior. Costs are either fixed, in other words, they don't change depending on how many products you produce or sell, or they're variable. Variable cost means the more products you produce, in other words, the more units you produce, the more your costs are going to be. So fixed costs are things like depreciation and rent. They're fixed for a period of time. They don't change regardless of how many products or services you produce. Variable costs are fixed per unit, meaning that there's so much fixed variable cost in each unit, but the more units you produce, the more your total variable costs are. The final way that we, you can categorize costs are by their value attributes. Value attributes mean, are they value adding or are they non-value adding? Very simply put, value added attributes means if I asked a customer, would you be willing to pay for four cup holders in your car or whatever, they would say, yes, I see value in having cup holders in my car. Non-value adding means that if you ask the customer, they would say, why do I need that? So value, value enhancement, customer willing to pay, non-value adding may be an essential element, but customers see no reason to pay particularly for that uh, attribute or um, feature. So that's a little bit about the ways we can categorize cost behavior.